All right, we're getting closer to the holiday weekend. We've still got some heat out there, but we've also got some grayer skies and a bit of rain. Take a look out there at Ennis today, where you're going to see some of the wet weather that has rolled through already. And it's one of the communities that's under a flash flood watch, which will continue until early tomorrow morning. With the rain coming through, we've seen our temperatures a little bit cooler, but still sticky and steamy. Sparta at 74 in Allegheny County, 71 in Hillsville, Stewart at 74, some 80s from Elkin to Yakima. These are the areas that have actually had some rain today. We've had some also right along the Virginia border. The heavier rains, though, that did produce a few flood advisories have been over Grayson County as well as Carroll County. You can see some of these higher totals in excess of an inch where you see the bright green. That's one of the reasons we do have the flash flood watch that is out for Yakin, for Surrey, for Wilkes, and counties north and west. And that's because we're anticipating torrential downpours. In fact, repeated rain over the same area. Right, one to two inch rainfall totals an hour possible with this. And if we do get that in spots, we could have some streams and creeks come up and some roads that could become flooded. Of course, with this type of rain, it doesn't mean that everybody's going to get a lot of rain. I do think everybody has a real good chance of getting at least some rain. You see the thunderstorm in progress right now near Galax. We're expecting these thunderstorms to mainly stay below severe limits, but there could be some gusty winds and some lightning. You see some rain there around Elkin as well. This is going to slowly work its way to the east and it may not be until 9 10 o'clock tonight before we get really any steady rain pushing into the triad so in the meantime we've got dry skies heat and humidity look at the temperatures they're close to 90 degrees again 89 in high point 91 in moxville 86 right now in greensboro the cooler air is just to the north where you've got some 60s and 70s coming in over new england and all the way down toward dc and that is actually where the severe weather threat is for tonight as this front is pushing south into to the area. The highest threat for severe weather in that zone in yellow under a slight risk. For us, it's just your typical garden variety thunderstorms that we're expecting. Could have some gusty winds, 30, 40 miles per hour, and of course, the very heavy rains. Even into tomorrow, only a small chance that we'll have some thunderstorms in our region. We do need the wet weather. Updated today, our drought monitors not changed a whole lot since last week. Still abnormally dry conditions across our entire area. Heavy rain is is the biggest threat. We're also going to have some lightning with the storms that do come through. We'll see rain kind of unevenly distributed, but I do think that a lot of folks have a chance to get a half of an inch to an inch, and some of you may get more than that by the time this moves out on Friday. Here's the timing. Between now and about 10 o'clock, I still think most of it is focused in the areas where we've already seen it today. It slowly pushes to the south, approaching midnight, and then overnight some very heavy rain. You'll likely wake up to heavy rain, especially in the triad, and then at at least through lunchtime tomorrow before we start to dry out in the west and then maybe even a few lingering afternoon thunderstorms in the triad as that front does start to push through and the winds start to change direction. Temperatures are definitely cooler on your Friday in the 70s, but it's still pretty sticky, pretty stormy. They'll taper off some in the late afternoon. For the foothills, we'll look for this maybe to start tapering off around lunchtime, so maybe a sooner end to it on Friday. And in the mountains, it could actually end before before lunchtime with that brisk northwest wind and that drier air coming in. And yeah, it's going to make for a beautiful Independence Day weekend forecast. Low humidity with temperatures in the 80s. You may have already heard about this. Tropical storm Elsa moving very quickly right now over the tropical Atlantic. Expected to cross over the Windward Islands on Saturday, potentially approaching Hispaniola by Sunday, perhaps near Cuba. And then after that, the models sort of diverge quite a bit but we're definitely going to want to watch this one perhaps for early next week, especially if you have some plans south toward Florida. There's your seven day forecast. Your weekend plans are dry and very pleasant. You're watching